What's up guys, Power Bang here and I'm bringing you guys a war recap of a random war that went down this week and we got a pretty good opponent which was nice. Uh, we were outgunned a little bit at the top end. Uh, they outnumbered a 7 Town Hall 11s to 3 um, and they had down to number 18 I believe as Town Hall 10s and we were down to number 15. So they had a few more uh, big guns up top, however we outweighed them significantly at the Town Hall 9 level. So uh, we were able to outperform them pretty early, get a pretty big lead, but in the end uh, they were able to come back, make it very close, an admirable uh, performance from the up-down crew, and the final score was 82 to 81. So let's look at some attacks here. This is Ant DGT. If I can just click the replay button, I'm trying here. I'm trying. Uh, so Ossetron's going to take on this base, pretty uh, decent base. It's got a anti-bowler, anti-miner type theme to it with those Island Inferno towers. So we'll see exactly how Aussie takes this base on. Uh, kind of a short recap for you guys today. Um, due to the, you know, the Town Hall 9s for the most part were pretty mismatched. And, you know, it was just kind of ho-hum, I guess, as far as the some of the raids. So I'm not going to show as many today. We'll show like five uh, re replays from this war. Uh, and we'll move right on. We've got some cool stuff coming up this weekend. I will highlight that in the end of this video. So pretty pretty pumped up there but the uh the queen's gonna roll into this side compartment here as you can see just like an ideal queen charge uh all the way down this compartment he brings three heels or three rage spells and that's going to keep that queen up easily getting through all of this stuff uh the enemy queen's going to take him uh down right now so she's down and now we've got just a whole bunch of minions which is a pretty easy clan castle kill here so he just drops the poison slows up their attack rate and uh, he works through them no problem so after that he's just working his way down that compartment you're going to see another rage spell come down here uh, help the queen along, get her down there uh, a little bit further and faster. Because the biggest thing in this attack right now, as you can see, it's an air attack. It's going to be time. So in goes the king. And I really like this because he is actually limiting the pathing uh, to this Inferno Tower. Instead of having this ring of defenses around the Inferno Tower, now he's got a straight line path uh, where he can send in a clump of balloons to both the Wizard Tower and the Air Sweeper as well as the Archer Tower there. And they will collapse on the Inferno. He drops a single free spell there uh, to work those balloons in. And they should be able to take that thing out just with a haste here. Uh, so there they go, and minions in behind to help start that cleanup process. Really astute there from Ozzytron, uh, who, by the way, was runner-up in the WHF Friendly Challenge Tournament that went down this week. And you're going to hear more on that here uh, in the next few days as well. Uh, we're going to have some pretty cool stuff coming up on the channel and on the streams, and that will be something that you guys can take part in. So... As Ozzy is going to kind of wrap everything up here, he's heading into the final couple defenses. Still two hounds remaining. One pops, which is great because that gives him some extra cleanup power. Uh, his queen has finally gone down, uh, but she was able to get the backside Inferno there before the balloons arrived on the scene. So really, really overpowered here. Uh, just completely crushes the base via the air. Very nice attack to Ozzy Tron. Let's go ahead and look at the next attack. This one is going to be number 12 here. And this is Agent 33. Showing up a lot lately in the recaps, having a really good string of wars here. And he's going to do the, the old go boner. So he's going to uh, drop some minions here to do some funneling on those free buildings. Outside of range of all of that air targeting stuff because the archer towers are sunk into the base pretty far. And nothing but cannons and mortars on the outside of the base. So he starts off with a single bowler up top. He's going to do some serious work there uh, with that single bowler. And as it's going to start moving his way in, uh, you're going to see a golem come down to do some tanking for it. So there it is. Wizards in behind. And there is the second golem to go ahead and do some tanking. So wizards making a big funnel on that whole side of the base. Wall breakers are going to go down. Open up that location just like so. The golems will redirect here. And you're going to see the golems uh, redirect with the bowlers in behind and a jump spell to get everything into the core. So pretty, pretty good start here. King and queen follow everything in. And again, a bunch of minions in the clan castle. Uh, pretty easy kill, just dropping the poisons. They will die at this point. And then uh, following everything up with miners once he's hollowed out that core. And now they have nowhere to path except for the inferno tower. So really efficient kill. Um, he's got a wizard tower and an inferno tower to deal with right up front, which is good. Because he doesn't even need to waste a spell there. Um, continues on into the base. He's got three heal spells left now for a single Inferno there in the middle. As well as two Wizard Towers. So he should have some, something uh, to heal up his troops for the rest of this base. He's got the Queen in the core. And she will eventually lock on to the backside Inferno here. So really nice job getting that Inferno Tower. Uh, no heals uh, on the Queen at all. But she's going to get deep up in this base. 
and do some serious work while the miners work their way around it in pretty much an L shape. Now these Dragonflower bases used to be the uh, the best bases by far anti three star, uh, but they are a fairly easy three star anymore with the bowler and miner additions to the game. Uh, the Dragonflower style bases, which is what you're seeing here, uh, those were you know kind of the end all be all for Town Hall 10 base design. And uh, the, the meta has shifted so that these are, are no longer um, as good. So it, it's interesting to kind of see how the game plays out. I'm sure uh, with the upcoming update, the meta is going to shift again. And all of these island style bases, you know, those may shift as well. So we'll have to see how things play out. Uh, but Agent 33 wrapping up a nice three star here. Finishing up on the cannon and taking that out uh, for the triple. So nice work to Agent. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Let's, let's look at number 15 here. This is Whiskey getting taken out by Todd. Now Todd is uh, going to be going at this base. Uh, new edition, I believe. And I'm not, I want to say this is the same dude as another dude, but everybody uses their first names. It's always confusing. It's like, is that the same guy? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh, drops the single goal in there. Doing a little work with the baby dragons on the funnel. Using that uh, chain of wall breakers there to open up the compartment. The access is an inferno. I mean, that's just a gift. So uh, he says thank you. He'll go ahead and take care of that as well as drop the jump spell into the core. Uh, where this second Inferno Tower is. So there is a chance here. A couple of the bowlers are kind of walking. Uh, there is a chance that the bowlers and the king and the queen and all that could get two Inferno Towers if everything goes right for him. So far, it's not going right as the king is down um, and the bowlers are down as well. But they, uh, he's kind of pushing nicely into the base here and the queen is kind of hollowing everything out. She will use the ability to take out a few more key structures and the miners will get going uh, towards the center of this base. They get that Tesla taken out and they'll hop to the uh, air defense in the middle there. They do eat a bomb, but they will heal up completely and lock straight onto that Inferno Tower. Very easy kill. All of them go to that Town Hall. He still has one heal spell remaining and really only one major threat left in the base and that is right where he's at on that Expo uh, where there is a Wizard Tower and two Teslas in range. Miners kind of split and spread out after that doing their thing. Uh, but it's just pretty, gonna be too much uh, and will overwhelm this base. So nice job to Todd here Everything kind of going down in a wave We've got that wizard on the far side drop for the help and the cleanup and helping those uh, miners get all the way through So really nice work getting everything taken care of gonna finish up on that builder hut for the three star for the good guys Nice job, man. All right guys. So two more raids. We're gonna show tonight We got a couple town hall nine raids and you'll see what I'm talking about uh, with regards to some of the lower level uh, bases. We had uh, Chris smokes a lot. Uh, pretty good base design here, man. Uh, and we will see a little, kind of a little blooper at the end of this one, if, if I remember right. Uh, but he drops in a nice shattered entry, it looks like, up on the top. And 22 hogs here, so that's quite a bit. And you're going to see the, uh, the, the hobo here. We're going to be dropping in uh, bowlers behind with the heroes, as well as the hogs for the backside. But that nice big first compartment along with the jump spell. That jump spell could have actually been a little bit deeper too to get all the way back to that air sweeper. Um, so could have been placed a little bit better, uh, but they still might make it there uh, since they are in a rage spell. But the bowlers are just going to wreck everything. Uh, really cool to see them do that. They just throw rocks and everything just kind of gets destroyed. So here comes the Hodge from the top right. Uh, just really kind of overwhelming everything. The, the point defenses are a little bit low level. So um, very, very easily able to overwhelm this thing. But watch the convergence here on this quadrant. Drops the heal spell. But one group triggers one bomb. The other group triggers the other bomb. And none of them heal up enough uh, to get that single trigger basically. And it was so close, but he's going to drop in a few more hogs. Collapse on the final defense. Uh, funny explosion there. I am Will gets out of there just barely getting that three star uh, for the good guy. Swag heal at that, but uh, nice try on the defense. Chris smokes a lot. Uh, good try, man. So let's look at one more, guys. 27 here. Ali Jing's getting hit by Mr. Freelo. And Mr. Freelo is going to be bringing that stoned hobo as well with the double jump. And the double jump on a base like this with all of these moats that are basically a six tile jump just screams double jump me because 100% of the base can get accessed uh, with those double jumps. So really, really widespread. 
On the first two golems, he creates a really nice funnel uh, with those wizards. And then a third golem down in the middle and wall breakers in behind. I really like how he distracted uh, the two mortars in that center compartment by the side golems. Uh, he sends a couple Valkyries in to help with the funneling, bowlers and heroes in behind, and they have nowhere to go but in. So Wizard finishes up here on that cannon, which is the only place the bowlers may have strayed. But now that the jump spell is down, into the core they go. Uh, we've got a heal spell that's going to heal up that king and the bowlers through the double bomb. And uh, in comes the CC. Second jump spell goes down to get them to the backside right on top of that queen. Uh, and then a rage spell in the core. And this is where it's just kind of like, uh, well, let's watch everything fall and, you know, smile that evil laughter. Uh, everything's just falling down. We've got hogs kind of trickling in the sides, just targeting uh, specifically the point defenses that didn't get targeted. So really, really efficient job with the hog riders there. And then wizard tower or wizard towers. Yeah, that's what we're deploying here. Uh, wizards on the edge of the trash ring here, and then uh, a couple hogs as well to add to the end of the trash ring on both sides since he had some swag hogs. So really nice work to Mr. Freelo. That is all I'm going to cover today in this video, though, guys. Uh, that's going to be a three star. Uh, for the good guys, and WHF does prevail. Uh, 82 to 81 was your final. Uptown crew, great job to you guys. Best of luck down the road. Um, nice job for a weekday war. So let's go ahead and look at the current war, guys. From We've got WHF versus WHF2. It is not the actual clans pitted together, but it is a family scrim. We are all mixed up. We have Team Power Bang versus Team, team King of the North. And uh, it looks like Power Bang will be in WHF versus King of the North in WHF 2. So, how funny. He's number 10. I'm number 10. It's a true mono e mono matchup. I'll have to hit his base too, apparently, or something. I don't even know. Anyway, guys, you can expect this to be going down this weekend. You will see some streaming uh, coming your way on Saturday. Uh, that will be WHF versus WHF2. I will be live around 7 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch. Uh, should there be any changes to that, you can follow me on Twitter to get those updates. Powerbang Gaming at Twitter. So that is all I got for this episode, guys. This is Powerbang signing out. Till next time, take care.